Hello Zede Hater, welcome back to Dot Age. So we have done this one. So yeah, that's three at once. We should have more than enough food supplies for a while. Well, yeah, it takes one day to build this, so we should be fine. And then we also need water. And I need to... Oh, wait, I need a water maker. Um, give me... Where was it? Yeah. Yeah. I need this. I need someone to stop. But that should clear the research and also give me the water maker. And I'm gonna place it probably. Uh, I need to place it next to it so it generates double the amount of uh, gold. That is, puddle. And it overflowed too. I do like that it overflows. I can actually make a pond. This requires 12. On fire. So this is for uh, when it gets uh, too cold. I'll depend hunting. I don't think I care too much. I, yeah, I need to increase the well. Build soil might not be a bad idea as well. Let's try to get a lot of uh, water supplies. And now uh, give me the... What is it? Puddle. But yeah, it generates two. And place it there because that will demolish the research. Well, we can place it here. And now we have five adults that can work. This is really effective. But this requires one turn. So just in time for the uh, heat event to trigger. So now I wonder if this is something you need to fight all the time. Until the uh, summer is done. Oh, that's a lot of heat. So, that event arrives at 5 days and it generates one. The so, summer seasonal threat is set to uh, 1 plus a year. Oh. On the next one, this will be 2 then. Breaks nothing. Consequences in 5 days. So, I need to out run that that value summer is finally here the heat is harsher during summer so be sure to fend off the domain when a new season starts plants that match the season will be restocked use this to your advantage wait will be restocked so i didn't even need to demolish all those That's nice to know. It'll be really useful with uh, like the higher tier uh, resources later on. But yeah, if I kept all the berry bushes, that will be uh, restocked at this point. Oh, well, that should be. No, I still want to demolish all of those. Let's already plant them. Because then you can just place them any way you want. If events are left unchecked, they may have consequences. New previously or unforeseen events may appear and be added to the prophecy. A good event can block the chain. That means that my, to my tomatoes grew back. Yep. Yeah, all of the bushes goes back at the... Uh, switch. So I need one water, 
agenda is too cold. Oh, we actually, yeah, we have both of them enabled. But this generates two water with acquiring one to two gold. And that will slowly outrun the, uh, that event. We'll probably need to get uh, one of the, uh, he's well in here, so I can put more uh, crops here, and here as well. This is a really good location. But we don't have enough people to actually do this. So let's continue this should generate enough gold. That's safe. Jesus is going really well now. That's the 3x. We're already ahead on the uh, on the event. So yeah, I probably need to make more farms that don't rely on the water supply next to me. Also need oh not enough free space. Oh that you need two spaces to make a child there, so that's what's happening. Okay, I get it. Oh, I actually separated them out. That's neat. Need to make a new dwelling or upgrade the dwelling. Probably upgrade it. And see if I can get the town center up. Because that should up the... Uh amount of storage, especially if we are going to hit the winter at one point. That's going to be horrible. Let's see. Yeah, all the percent chance to get a good event. And we still have like three turns. It's safe. It's kind of funny that we can get more hope while it's not generating fear. So in a way you can prevent a lot of events from happening. Throughout the entire uh, the game. Unless it resets at one point. I do like that the research overflows. A lot of games don't do that, so that's the well. That was not water supplies, so this requires this. Uh, that we should have enough. But it actually requires one day because we're upgrading. That's really nice. So we cleared that one. Let's get the uh, built soil. Does that require water? We haven't seen that. Don't have the issue with food. Unless we get... Don't grow. Oh, we can't increase that one yet. But can we... Yeah, Bullet Soul actually increases the amount of people. I'm getting Bullet Soul first. I can just use the... Uh, tomatoes to actually keep my food supply up. For a bit. Uh, I can set I can turn that off. The hit side of the screen to uh, move. Yep. Chicken pens might not be a bad idea because we have like a lot of chickens around. One more turn. Yeah, we're on a hundred percent. Completely overrun it with a 2x the uh, event value. That's nice. A 
that should go up quite well. Uh, we have one bit left. Let's put them on uh, wood gathering. Yeah, it should slowly just increase the basic uh, buildings so they're like more efficient. The main threat is annoying. I can't read it. There is overgrowth. One berry stop appears in the village. Creates plants, nothing. So what did that do? Did it just place a berry bush? Yeah, I think they just placed one. Well now I know that actually look at berries, where do they grow? Oh spring and summer. So berries grow anywhere, but they're less efficient than the uh, tomatoes. And they also have a season that they don't grow in. Also these seems to have a level. Uh, this is not generating anything anymore, so turn this off. And get us some water for a while. And need two more turns. Get the uh, village hall. It will increase the amount of pips we can have by two. That should work. I'll need to increase the wood uh, production as well. After the village hall. Yeah, one more turn. So one of these is done. Wait, hey, does this completely disappear? That's different. Oh, we can replant these. That's neat. But we should also be. Yeah, it's also auto. Uh, turn this off for a second. Uh, replant. Probably gonna need a lot of it soon. We can actually prepare for like the winter seasons by getting a lot of uh, supplies in. That might be for the best. Um, yeah, this should get it. Play this straight up. Now I have a village hall overflows by two. We have more than enough food to sustain ourselves. Let's wait. What's done? Beware, a doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it. But it may be the end of the village. Oh, it's fair. Doom vision. At the end of each page of a prophecy, a vision of doom, a vision of doom will appear. These events are stronger than usual. But fighting them off unlocks the next page of the prophecy and may even grant you something more. Doom prophecies will arrive with an increased threat, so it will take all the village's resource to fight them off. We get the village hall. So that's in 8 days. Depends on an accumulated fear, it will be a maximum of 1. Oh, it's the limit. Oh no, it generates 3 fear. 1 from threat, 2 from doom. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Um, we're switching up. Community. How effective will be this be? Yeah, let's get shared table. I need this. That's a. If I place it, place a uh, dwelling here. 
And then that other building here, that should be enough. And it's all... Oh, that's why stone. Can't even build that. Uh, make a cabin. Oh yeah, that should build it in two days. Yeah, we need to survive the doom events. Gonna take a minute. So I hope this is a social building. Better if I place the... No, that would actually not work. Because this is buffed by uh, this one. The one with David dwelling. Let's just skip to the next. That unlocks this. Share table. And it should have a massive increase because of adjacency bonuses. And table. Many buildings will list a class of resources as an input. Rather than a specific resource, this means that any resource that, is, uh, uh, that class will work as an input. The same goes for food. See the Azure PDF for more information. Oh wait. Is it actually not? Oh, it's food and water. Pretty sure. Oh, it doesn't require both. It requires one. I did not realize. Well, at least we have two dwellings now. So let's just place it here. That generates five. But we'll need uh, like the food resource. And I hope that is just any food. And we need a stone gatherer. Stand that's extraction that's pond for water. Uh, where is it? Is it that is uh, let's get the stone gatherer first. Now that will probably use up more resources. we needed to uh, overrun the do event. It's already generated. Oh wait, it's already generating. Oh, I didn't realize. I did not realize that. Yet, event level. Higher level events have stronger and more powerful effects. The level of unknown events depends on the power of its domain. Has accumulated when the vision comes. The level of good events depends on the protection. Oh yeah. Oh, we're getting... Are we already getting ne negative effects? Uh, I need two pips. Uh, stop that. Get this up and running. Yeah, I didn't realize that we're... Uh, that was already generating three. Thought we had more time. Ah, oh, that's shitty. That's gonna hurt. This might kill me. Yeah, once I get this up and running, that's fine. Let me see if I, I can get away with just putting everyone on it. Except for one. Uh, stop gathering food for a minute. So 
if that's gonna uh, yeah, we actually hit almost the maximum of that for a minute. So, uh, hold on, research. Yeah, we actually were maxing out. Oh, wait, we have two people. Oh, they selected that. Oops. That's seven. That's a uh, murder the room event. That would almost uh, on the same value. Yeah, that's dangerous. Three more days. No, I, start, I thought it started at three days, but it was already running. Around 50 50. So we should be able to happily overrun this. By six foods. So that's like seven hope that we generate each turn now. That the two percent. Yeah, we should be able to get a uh, hundred percent out of this. That Doom event is horrible. That was already behind. Stone Gatherer research. I mean, root supplies. Yep, 94%. We got it. And clear. 32 hope. And a massive dent in my food supply because we're not gathering any food at the moment. Just to clear this. Yeah, 94%. And we get. If it hits that red one, I'll be amazed. Yeah. Memories unlocked. Memory points. As I continue to tell stories, even more of my memories will surface. Each time an event occurs, you will receive memory points. If the event is good, you will receive even more points. You can use memory points to unlock new game elements for your current and future stories. Look out for the unlocks bar next to the research button. Oh, it's this thing. We actually overflowed. Now what do we get? Boons. A doom event was averted. This has a huge impact on the village, which can take, then take some of the domain's strength. We may choose a boon. Boons can slightly change the nature of our village. So be sure to choose wisely. Ooh. Oh, this is neat. So you can actually choose what's happening if we kill a, get through a doom event. Wait, I remember that after the doom event was averted, the village was different. Search of knowledge. The village gains 30 knowledge. Alphia crops. Crops allow two more activations before depleting. By the borders, territories expand one more tile. Oh, that can be really useful. That requires you less signposts, but it's Gives you way. This is actually way better. Increase range. Territory's expense. Is that, that not retroactively triggering, or it's just waiting? If what the doom brought upon us, what I sense that is, uh, this is not the end. I see it now. New and stronger challenges are coming. There is summon, uh, summer into autumn. The prophecy is clearer in my mind. Let me tell you what fate has in store for us. 
Oh, that's a lot. This is it. We must strive to reach the next Doom event. Remember, this will not be the last. And to see an... Oh. Well, just kick me out. I see, I see. We have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. I think our booms will actually grow in strength as well. We get through these. Yeah, now it's actually up by one. So in a way, I want to have another research place here. Because that's completely isolated from anything else. And that will only use one tile and then we can demolish this and use other areas or just increase our resource production by a bunch. We won't, probably won't use much of this. But the common event arrives in six days, you cannot influence its outcome. Events level is equal to the domain, domain strat. Oh, we have seven now. Uh, turn that off. And I want to build a stone gatherer. And let's just place it here. That takes two days, six wood. How does this work? Oh, many events. New mechanic. A new game mechanic is found. They may appear during play. 29 events, unlock with 4 points. Let's see what this does. Sometimes mini events will appear in the village. These are short events that have small effects, usually good. So that basically buffs. Oh, there's a lot. That... I'm not even gonna look at that, that's way too much. <laughs> But yeah, if we get stone supplies, we can upgrade our uh, village hall. So let's see, I want to start, that's almost out. Start gathering more supplies. That's running. Now that I think about it, let's change this up. Make another baby. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you require two spaces to make one. So this should be fine. And we used up all of our villagers. But well, now we are actually producing food supplies again. Well, I have a through the summer. Yeah, we need six. We have six days, and we can increase our uh, whole production by by a lot. Something straight, right? For it. Looks like they're happy. Oh, we got a bunch of hope. Cordial talk. The village gains two hope. Known resources. Sometimes spirits will find new resources in the surrounding village. What they are for may not be clear at first, but keep researching new buildings and you may find a use for all the resources you find. So it's related to your research. So we have five days before something triggers. Let's actually look at prophecy. Because it didn't lock. So that's the fear domain, an unknown. Oh, tied to the heat domain. Uh, that won't be a problem. We have sickness now. So I need to research uh, something to counter sickness soon. Now we can make another baby. Time. 
uh, yeah, the stone supplies should be coming in on the next round. And we can actually make our village hall. Idle pips. Uh, let's get that up and wait, oh, doesn't does this have like a can be built on flat a day? This only reduces bomb. Uh, that's kind of horrible. And it does look like it has a buff. Yeah, I plant this. And I think I need to get more food supplies at one point. We're using all of our pips at the moment. Oh yeah, this heavily increase this range. Okay, now you require less signposts to actually extend our range building. That's nice. But yeah, let's end the episode here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.